And while it appears that government may be making a firm commitment to ensure that the election of Metropolitan Municipal and District Chief Executives take place between June and July 2021, Local Government Minister Haji Ali Mahamad today outdoored the implementation plan as she rejected suggestions government was dragging its feet in sticking to its campaign pledge. The Progressive People's Party last week slammed government for reneging on its pledge to have the election take place during the four-year tenure of President Akufuado following a shift in a year for polls from 2019 to 2020. The local government minister told pressmen government was simply following due process. So the election of, we're proposing that election of MMDC is, will be between June and July 2021, in line with the time frame we're provided under Article 2461. And then, hopefully, MMDCs, the new set of MD, MMDCs, elected through universal adult suffrage by their respective districts, will be sworn in in August 2021. That's the roadmap. Members of the media, as I indicated, we are collaborating with so many organizations to help us in this regard. And the expected role of stakeholders, the, the Ministry of Local Government and Rural Development is shepherding the process. Attorney General will be drafting the bills Electoral Commission will be organizing and implementing the referendum. National Commission for Civic Education will support public education and sensitization on the referendum before, and before the referendum and after the referendum on the elections. Expected role of non-state actors. Political parties are very key. But in our regional sensitization, we ensure that political parties participate and we ensure that they do group work and provide us their opinions in this regard. So political parties will be required and expected to conduct sensitization and education of members towards building consensus and getting the buy-in of their members for this process. The media to support in the orientation, sensitization, and education of citizens on this process. The objective and then the process. Civil society organization to provide advocacy for a yes vote at the referendum. And traditional authorities promoting the cause of the yes vote. And citizens voting at the referendum. And hopefully they will give us Yes, vote. Well, Deputy Minister for Local Government Obi Amwa said government deserves commendation for wanting to make election, the elections partisan and not criticism for the delay in its implementation. The parties are involved. If you heard the president, the president met the parties and former presidents, and they also appear to have agreed that this is the way we should go. So we assume that the parties are involved, even though. We will hold a stakeholders meeting with the political parties, particularly. And I, last Saturday, I was at a TV program and I said that Papa Kwesindom is the chief advocate for election of MMDCs. So we will engage him and probably recruit him to be on board so that he will speak for us as we go along. The you know, other question was whether we were not moving away from our manifesto. In fact, what we rather say is that this. This is an enhanced promise. We have rather enhanced the promise. We are not abandoning the promise. We are rather enhancing it by saying that if you look at the Constitution Review Commission, they were emphatic that this is the way to go. And they listed all the merits that you can gain from involving political parties in the election of MMDCs. So coming to power, the president is at the forefront of advocating that we should involve political parties for various, several reasons. One even major thing is that for political parties, it's part of their manifestos. That is how we want local governance to be conducted. And now if you're going to elect MMDCs on non-partisan basis, then the electorate will be faced with numerous 
manifestos. Which ones do they follow? But if it's on political party lines, every party will fold a candidate. Of course, independents are allowed to also um, contest. But you then have a very consistent um, thing, consistent manifesto for others to follow. Now, when it comes to running of Accra, the person who will stand on the ticket of MPP, this is what he's saying. The person who stands on the ticket of NDC, this is what he's also saying. How do we run Accra? How do we run Kumasi? Any of the districts. But if you leave it to individuals, and somebody comes saying that he will run Accra this way, and the party too is saying this, if it doesn't run in that way, would you be in a position to fall the party for what the person is doing? Because it's non-partisan, and it's come on its own. 20 persons may come up, and they all want to say that this is how we run a city or a district. Maybe it would really create some chaos for us. So I believe that we have not really abandoned our manifesto promise. We've rather enhanced it, and we should be applauded for that.